What's up, nerds? Back with another video. It is a ridiculous outfit because it is Yankee playoff season, and I am appealing the baseball gods. This is what they have decided, so this is what we're going with. The glasses are because it's bright as fuck, and as, mo as much as this video would be done at night, it is just impossible to get done at night, so that's why we're doing it now. So... This is a Sabre review video, and these are the most affordable Sabres that I think that there are on the market, and that's up and down the board. Uh, even though we've got high tier, mid tier, and low tier, they are all going to be uh, of the affordable model. And there are going to be, you know, links in the description below. People, me, you can contact if you're interested in any of the custom designs that I will be showing off. You know, let me know. And, uh, you know, if you want the links to anything, obviously those will be available in the description below. So now, without further ado, we are going to be reviewing the Shadow Hunter Darth Maul Saber Archetype. And then we're going to be doing Theory Sabers, Davian Sabers, and Super Low Amazon Sabers. And uh, then we're going to go over a couple of different models and a couple of uh, different things that I think uh, are different and I like and et cetera between them. So first off, we got to show off the OGs and the highest tier of uh, Saber we've got. And that is the original. Oop, sorry, I hit the mic. The original OG, Darth Maul, Clone Wars, Sabres. Uh, this is honestly probably the biggest thing that you'll do 99% of the time, is these buttons come unscrewed when you're wielding. So I'm just in here right now just screwing these buttons in. Um, but these are the 32-inch pixel blades. Um, I think that these are the best because for twirling, if you go 36, I'm 6 foot tall. So unless you're taller than me, like, don't get the 36 because you're just going to be hitting the ground every time you try and swing. But these are uh, the highest. Uh... Oh, this guy ran out of battery. But nine, ten. Here we go. Boom. These are the highest quality. Uh, the most notable thing, loud, bright, sturdy, has the pixel effects, and it's got two buttons. That is the biggest thing with these sabers on the highest end, is that you can bang, 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 bang. Immediate, immediate action. And what I like is that the tops, and you'll see this compared to the other ones, not to skip ahead, uh, because first we'll go over everything before we get to the deep, in deep comparisons. But these, I very much like how they redid the top. You'll see the other ones are a little bit fatter and thicker. These ones are thinner because the you can whip it around faster when you're twirling. And it's also just like, because Theory himself says that these are the best model for twirling which is why i got them and really having the grip up here is just really nice for twirling so this is the highest model uh it does come there's all these little black uh circles that you'll see on the saber those are all screw holes because it does come with all of the little red knobs and everything that comes along the accoutrement but again these are twirling sabers they're affordable they're dueling like, you want them to be, like, good standard. This was, I mean, again, that's the whole thing. So, number one. Now, we'll leave this one out for comparisons. So now we're going to do the mid-tier, which is Damien Saber. Now, immediately off the bat, you might notice the difference in thickness. So, I mean, we are. this is 1,000% a different blade. This is not the pixel blade. You can see how much thinner it is, hopefully. Line them up. I mean, you can see the one in the back behind the first one if you're lined up perfectly. Uh, it's tough to show on camera. 
but it's definitely a different blade size. And that's because it's definitely not 100%. Let's make sure. Let's make sure this is the right saber. Nope, this is the wrong one. Hold on. So you'll see this one, loud, bright as fuck, right? Whereas this guy, dead silent. That's the nice thing about the cheap boys. They got the mute feature, right? And, but again, I mean, you could just see how sharp, how much sharper this blade is. I mean, like, they're both bright, right? But this, I think you could tell on camera, this one is way brighter. Like, it's just, you know, don't get me wrong. Similar, ex exact same color. Still bright as fuck. Just one is just, you know, you could see the different type of, as it, as it goes down the blade, you can see how the color of it changes. And again, that's just because there's LEDs up and down this whole saber. Now, don't get me wrong. Bright, bright, loud effects, everything. Super cool, super OG, super official. But having the mute on it is real nice for inside when you're fucking around sabering and you just want to like fuck around with the saber and not wake up everybody in the whole house. Huge. Absolutely fucking huge. And don't get it, don't, don't let it, don't get it twisted. Hold on, not that one. Hold on. Sorry, let me get the right uh, button press for you. Oh, so I got to do it when it's off. Sorry. So don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. There is obviously the volume mode. Like, <laughs> it literally, don't get it twisted, but... You have the mute feature on these where you don't have the mute feature on C Theory Sabers. But this has the one button that you have to press and hold. That's what I meant about the expensive ones is that you've got the double button on and off all day. But this, you've got to on, press and hold to turn it off. Uh, but again, but, but, to kind of go in a little bit into the differences, this one, the button is a little bit more recessed, the power button. And you notice it does literally, it has all the exact same, uh, the holes, the little black holes, the little black drill holes. I mean, those are literally all for, it has the exact same red circle things, but there's little differences. Like you can see the tops of the sabers are different. Different model. Like I said, this part is longer. The grip, it's more of a grip on the Theory Sabers, whereas it's flat and wide on the Damien Sabers. And the top is a different, this is more angly, more out in front, right? Whereas this is more, you feel like you're gripping it as a part of gripping something. Whereas this feels like a little bit more unnatural because you get like pulled into the saber blade almost. Uh, and you can see that the Theory Saber is longer even without the attachment on the bottom but it is significantly i mean the double i mean we're, if we want to go into price difference i mean like the two of these uh shadow mall sabers is the price of one of these theory sabers i mean it's that crazy of a price difference and i really do like how with these ones you can just put boom the charger right into it right there whereas theory sabers you have to unscrew the whole thing open it put plug in the usb then take it out it's actually really cool being able to just plug it right in bada bing bada boom now these are kind of the middle we're going to go into kind of like the middle ground next because we have a special guest in addition to the lowest of the low, right? We've got kind of like a mi another mid-tier bonus guest. And this is the Theory Saber Shadow Hunter Clone Wars quote-unquote affordable version. And so these 
are the same model as the Theory Saber Affordable, right? But what's interesting about it is it's got the same one button with, you guessed it, the same mute feature. Hold on, let me, but it's not, the one press, it doesn't turn it off. You still have to do the press and hold to turn it off. But now, hold on, let's go to number five. So now they should be different colors. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, hold on. That's the only problem with mute, is that when you mute, you mute the settings as well. Uh, but what's what's interesting, though, about this is buying all of these and getting all of this, right? So you notice how it uses the same button press and the same mute, the affordable theory sabers, as the budget, not the medium budget one, the Damien sabers, right? However, to note, this is the Pixel Blade. So this is the same blade that I got on the expensive Shadow Hunter one, right? And it's, you know, quote on, it's like the expensive board, like inside, like the expensive guts on the inside, but it's got the software and the mute and the color change and everything of the affordable one. So it's just something to note. But what I do, you know, prefer it though is definitely the feel and the grip and everything about the theory sabers. You know, I definitely like more than the Damien sabers, like physically, but software inside, I definitely like the Damien sabers and the ease of being able to just charge it right there. And honestly, I like having the regular blade on it like the not pixel blade so i don't have to worry about i mean this these are tough as shit i mean you bl block like smash these things together these are tough as shit but you know if you want like a hundred percent you know it's like i guarantee don't need to buy because the blade to replace these are 40 something bucks and the blades to replace these are 60 something to give you an idea or 70 something so 30 buck price difference um but just a uh, a bonus. And then for the lowest of the low, we've got these, uh, you know, these little guys right here. And what I love about them is, again, these are, these are honestly the cheapest of, like, the cheap guys. These might be my fucking favorite out of all of them because not only do they have the mute uh, feature, they don't have any gesture features which some of the other ones which uh like i can show have feet is easier when i stand up but uh you know like this guy when they're turned on the uh uh the medium one the damon sabers when you swing them they turn them on like that and when you like put them down like into your like pants like you're gonna sheath the sword it turns it off and then back on when you swing it out and then oh, down Order into the thing the but yeah so like i mean there's there's advantages to both but these don't have any gestures but they do have the mutes and they have the USB charge right in the front. So these and the, you can put them together. And these are like the cheapest, cheapest of the cheap, right? And these are like, you know, if you want something to just really fuck around with and just like, you know, because you can fight with all these ones, duh. And these are all super strong and all these, you could swing them around, throw them around. That's all. All I do with them, and they all fucking work fine. That's literally all I do. I, sh I treat these things like fuck. I like daily drivers, right? So believe me when I say they can handle this shit, right? And so this one is just, you know, it's perfect. And I 
really like the bottom, so I just put a little. Uh, you can get uh, on Amazon repair leather repair couch uh, tape. Put that shit right there. Boom, got nice uh, little grips on them. And these, and I've got one more, are like probably some of my favorite. And they charge up real quick. So here are the last of the cheap ones. And these, super similar. These are the more expensive version of this, right? So these ones, power on. They've got the USB charging in the front, just like that. And they've both got the mute function as well. And they both, duh, obviously. Hold on, shit. Let me turn them off first. All right, turn them off. So now we do one. Volume five. And now, you know, so it's all got, and, and this one, what I like about it is you can change the length of the blade. So as you can see, or maybe uh, not see until I hold uh, one up, even these super cheap ones, I mean, you could see the height difference, right? And that's also because me, I make like the saber hilts, which we'll go into in a second. But these are the medium of like the cheap, uh, the cheap ones, right? And I really, uh, these are another uh, very good one too. These actually as well have a great weight to them. Like these are, these are like aluminum plastic. Like this is metal, quote unquote, but it's closer to plastic, right? These are actually metal, like metal. So now, by the way, this is just a golf bag that I've taken PVC, one inch, one and a quarter inch PVC, put it inside of it, and then just slide the sabers into it. And it's got the stand, obviously. And so that's just what I hold my stuff in, right? So now we're going to go into some of the custom stuff. This is my personal favorite and my custom pr personal saber. Make sure this will fall off balance. So this is the affordable, uh, uh, what do they call it? Affordable uh, Annie something. Uh, on Theory Saber, affordable Annie 3. There's a weathered, there's a couple versions of this one, but this is the one that does not have the brick and noticeably it does have the hinge. So there's no brick, but with the hinge. That's the model for this. And this is personal favorite. Uh, there's nothing in the way of your hand. It gives you spot uh, for a token, uh, which I have, but I don't have like equipped right now or whatever. Um, all metal, like beautiful uh, weight on this, like perfect, perfect weight on this. Um, and this is an example of just what I was talking about before, uh, where I've got like the hilts, uh, you know, custom made uh, painted PVC pipe, which you can hit other sabers with. Uh, and you don't have to worry about fucking them up uh, because it's, you know, pl you know, thick, super thick plastic. Uh, it's not going to fuck up other people's sabers. Um, and if it breaks, you know, it's easy to replace, easy to repair, easy to, you know, just get another one. Assuming the, uh, you know, paint, uh, you're okay with having a slightly different uh, paint job. And it just, uh, you know, boom, saber fits right in. And this is just like, this one was an affordable version. And actually, it's kind of funny. It's got the, uh, you know, the soundboard thing as well, muted. And uh, what I actually, my favorite part about this, and this is a shout out to the OGs who are, uh, you know, enjoy uh, being able to, like, own and control your own things, right? So first, let's uh, turn this bad boy off. But the only problem with these ones is that you have to wait, you know, the one button does everything. The two button man, holy shit! Being able to just juice, juice, juice with your saber is big. But 
the important thing with this guy and why this is my personal favorite and my personal saber is because you can remove the board, soundboard, battery, and the whole operating system and everything, take out the battery and replace the battery so you can just carry a bunch of fucking fully charged batteries so you don't have to wait to reload like with all of these. And again, like I said, you know, you can take out the whole thing. It is huge. I mean, like the Shadow Hunter Sabers. The problem with the Shadow Hunter Sabers is the biggest problem is that they put the fucking card in the wrong fucking way, so you can't fucking change it or do anything with it. So it's like you bought this whole thing. It's supposed to be your saber. You're supposed to be able to fucking customize it and everything, but you you literally can't do any of that. You literally can't do any of that. And I think the only way to be able to do anything would be to spend the money on it, like, when you buy it. But it's like, come on. Like, I'm already spending, like, multiple hundreds of dollars. I can't, like, just buy one of all of the sound packs and then just use that for every saber. I mean, I'm already spending $250, $300 on sound packs. Like, you know, what, is that not good enough? I can't just buy one and then copy and paste it to the next saber. Like, oh, sorry, I'm spending fucking $300, $400 on a Saber. It's not good enough. Like, I need to spend another $50 of something that I already have just so you can install it on the Sabers, like, before it gets, like, I mean, like, why not just move the card, like, a different way? Or just, in this case, just advert, like, just say, like, oh, you can't access the card like you can with all the Sabers. Um... But anyway, the last one. This is actually going to be for my dad. And this is another one of the affordable uh, line, uh, just like the uh, Luke Saber that we just showed off. Or, I mean, I guess Annie, the affordable Annie. Um, and this one actually is... Not is on the fritz right now, so let's see if it powers on or not right now. But this was actually a very, very good deal on their website. And if it turns out it's broken, I'm just gonna get another one. Oh no, it's good. So, this is obviously I love having the hilt on these. Um, and this, oh my god, this thing is a fucking absolute beast. And I put, uh, as you can see, uh, grip tape and some more of the leather repair patch on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't go all the way up because obviously this is where it unscrews to access the battery, but this is like one of my, this is this and the Annie, like if, if this had a replaceable battery, like, like if this had insides like the Annie, this would easily be the best saver that they sell. Um, but for the price, I mean, this was a 200 and Fifty, two hundred and sixty dollar saber. Um, after like you know, you get the internal cards and everything, and this is easily uh, like my favorite. And this is the saber hilt made uh, for my dad. I did a uh, black uh, instead of doing a uh, black galaxy with like red stuff. I did a red like galaxy with like black like blood spray like on it. I thought that would look cool. I think it looks kind of cool. I tried making uh, uh, with PVC the part for the top so you could like blast it, but I think I'm just gonna have to 3D print it instead. Um, but that is the uh, Sabre review of everything from, you know, everything from the expensive Sabres to the cheap Sabres to the you know, beat them up sabers to everything. And uh, so, you know, everything will be in the description, a uh, way to contact me, any of the custom saber stuff, you know. So thanks for watching. Smoke grass, eat ass. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Deuces.